Hey, what's up, YouTube? So, let's have a tiny bit of fun in this video, shall we? I know this is usually dangerous territory, and even thinking about this usually gives a lot of Zelda fans a headache, but let's talk timeline. Yeah. First of all, just for the record, I gave up on trying to figure out the, long, the timeline a long time ago. Um, it made sense at one point. And then they did the split timeline thing where there are two different timelines. And I could get behind that. But when they did this whole three timeline thing, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me with this shit? This is, this is ridiculous. How do you make this third timeline? The, one of the timelines is Link loses to Ganon. I mean, how do you make that happen? You lose the Ocarina of Time and you just don't hit continue? I mean, is that how we got to where we are? Just on that out there. But anyway, yeah, I was I was on board with the two timeline theory because I that made more sense with the three timeline. No, that's stupid, but... Apparently it's official by Nintendo because it's in the Hyrule story. But uh, anyway, ignore all that. Where does this take? Pick your favorite part of the timeline and put it there. So where do you, uh, where does this take place in the timeline? I think I know. Is there there? And I think because like, however you look at it, one of the, one of the last games in the timeline actually was Zelda II: Link's Adventure. I mean, think about it. that's pretty much where. You know, after the first game, Gan is dead. His followers trying to resurrect him back to kill Link. They don't. Link wins. Reunites all three pieces of the Triforce and stuff like that. Peace comes from all stuff like that. And every other Zelda game that's come after that never followed up on that storyline. I mean, that was it. I mean, after that, nothing happened. Like, that we know of. So, I'm thinking, the reason why I'm thinking that this is, like, after all that, like, this is actually finally going a little forward in the timeline then going backwards or put it in some other random place it doesn't need to be is if you look at the uh, at the screen and see the Master Sword it's it's uh, in pretty bad shape I mean at this point you gotta admit the Master Sword has seen some shit okay it's been through a lot for it's been around for probably thousands of years you know and this thing has killed the same fucking guy every couple hundred years. I mean, it's always killing Ganon or sending him back to the, like some kind of shadow realm or dark realm or golden, you know, you know what I'm saying. And at this point, I think it's been so long since this sword has been used that it finally just started to fall apart and stuff like that. And obviously, I think part of the story of this game is going to be to try to revive that master sword somehow. Um, don't bring back feet. Please, 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 please. No more feet. All right? Stop it. Stop it with feet. No feet. Although, they're saying there's no, like, Link has no companion in this game, so he's on his own. I mean, I'm okay with this, by the way. This is, like, the best thing I've heard so far. Is like, he doesn't have a fucking magic boat talking to him. He have an annoying fairy. He doesn't have an annoying sword. He doesn't have a stupid little imp who talks backwards and whispers. I hate you, Midna. But, yeah, I said it. So what? So, that's where I'm thinking, because, like, in two, the Zelda 1 and Zelda 2, there's no Master Sword, like, at all. Like, okay, obviously... It's because they didn't think of it yet. You know, they didn't come up with the Master Sword concept until A Link to the Past. But going by what we know now, let's just say for for the sake of argument that for timeline purposes that the Master Sword has been put away and has not been used for, like, a very long time. Um, if you think about it, I think the last time it got used was... Um, what's the last 3DS game that came out? The, oh, I don't remember the name of the game. What the hell is the name of the game? I don't remember it. Oh, God, I feel like I'm right now. But, uh, you know, the, the new one on 3DS where he, like, turned into, turns into a painting on the wall and shit like that. I can't... Ah, was it Link's... Link, a, a Link Between Worlds. There we go. I don't know why I couldn't get that. But, yeah, so that's the last time I started to use. I mean, because it takes place pretty much more or less directly after A Link to the Past. You know, Link Between Worlds. And then, like like I said, this Master Sword doesn't really get used when you go to the other two Zelda games. And like I said, regardless of the fucking timeline, let's ignore that for a minute. Master Sword is how I use, and now you see this Master Sword, and it is just completely just messed up. I mean, this thing is, like, chipped, it's rusted, it's broken, it's got chips in it, actual chips. Go look it, go look at the logo, go look at the fucking logo. Tell me I'm lying. But, yeah, so, that's what I'm thinking, is, uh, like, I think this Master Sword, it's been a long time since Master Sword had to get used, because, like I said, this goes back to the whole after Zelda 2, because there's been no Ganon, there's been no evil, shit hasn't been going on, peace, Hyrule's been at peace for, like, a long-ass time. And the sword finally decided it had enough, start falling apart and shit like that. And now you gotta find where to start. And that's why, where I think it's like the newest in the timeline. It's finally taking, they're finally going forward with this timeline. And uh, that that's how it is. Um, but my one wild card theory about this is it's a reboot. 